Now, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency uh, is a debilitating disease uh, that leads to severe lung problems uh, such as COPD and uh, liver failure called uh, cirrhosis. Now, ask anyone who has this disease and surely they will let you know that it is not fun to not be able to play with your kids because any physical activity leaves you short of breath and you develop that air hunger or with the passage of time your liver starts to fail and that of course leads to numerous uh, problems. So today we are going to have a look at this disease and we will go over some clinical findings, diagnosis and a little bit of the treatment for anti alpha-1 uh, antitrypsin deficiency. Its severe form is known to affect more than 100,000 Americans. However, it is a very underdiagnosed uh, disease. Now, alpha-1 antitrypsin itself protects uh, against a breakdown of protein in the lungs, but when, of course, it is not there, it could lead to severe architectural damage with uh, that protein breakdown in the lungs. Now, pulmonary function tests are done to evaluate uh, for lung problems, and they normally show findings similar to the obstructive lung disease called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, um, also called as um, emphysema. Now, with COPD and emphysema, you become short of breath easily, develop lots of phlegm, cough a lot, and all this leads to feeling severely fatigued um, and tired. And you tend to catch respiratory infections even though uh, you never even got close um, to that uh, sick uh, person. Now, liver problems can actually develop um, as an infant even uh, with liver, liver damage um, and uh, fluid filling up in your stomach. Um, or you can also have abnormal bleeding. Um, these problems uh, may even carry on into childhood. Now, similar problems can unfortunately develop in adults um, uh, with hepatitis, uh, liver cirrhosis, and this can even lead to uh, liver cancer. Now, physicians uh, may get suspicious uh, and test for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, especially if you develop COPD early in life, such as in the 30s and 40s, um, or develop liver problems without any um, other uh, identifiable cause. Um, and especially if you have COPD, but you never actually uh, smoked. Now, to test for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, the physician can order a simple blood test um, and then get uh, genetic testing. But the problem uh, is that there are so many variants um, and, and mutations are so, um, so, so, so varied that a person will need to see a specialist for this to fully assess uh, their true risk. Now, treatment surely is a challenge. Of course, these patients should never smoke and avoid alcohol. Uh, since these people can easily get infections, make sure you get vaccinated for the flu, um, influenza, um, get your pneumonia shots. Now, supportive care will, of course, be important. Um, oxygen supplementation may be required. Rehabilitation and exercise does help. Uh, inhalers to open up your lungs. And patient will surely uh, need nutritional support and advice um, and appropriate treatment for uh, COPD that has developed. Now, some patients may also benefit from intravenous infusions of alpha-1 antitrypsin. And of course, uh, you will have to be in the care of specialists um, who will be, of course, taking care of you. Now, lung and liver transplantation can also be done, but mainly these um, are reserved for patients who have reached the terminal stage uh, for their uh, lung and liver diseases. Anyways, I hope this was informative and uh, with this general overview of alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, but let me know in the comments below um, of your own experiences, either yourself or uh, any uh, family member. Anyways, um, as always, uh, remember that it is your doctor's goal to prevent you from taking medication, but if you have to, you must take them uh, properly. Stay healthy and stay safe.